State. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. Now, that mix is just coming from the Russell 2000 down two points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside with the Dow up 319 points, nearly 1 percent, half a percent for the S&P or 23 points, a quarter percent for the NASDAQ. That's up 35 points. But Apple is trading to the downside. and looks like it really wants to go lower, maybe longer term. We'll take a look at the intraday charts during the Trader's Ed Show. The semis are up 8 tenths percent that's three uh that's 30 points uh the trend is up 55 you've got gold down seven dollars trading out at 1969 silver's off 43 pennies trading at 23.28 lights recruit is off a buck 13 81.69 is a print there natural gas having a nice day still consolidating with inside his daily profile up 13 pennies and a 30-year treasury which did form a buy the d point pattern on friday is down 17 ticks trading out at 121.15 hey let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side You'll see price right now trying to get back inside its daily profile. That's a daily profile formed by these black background charts, my e-signal system. Now, if price were able to close above 45.24 today, that would suggest a further rally. That further rally could also take us up to the 46.09, 46.21 level. So watch 45.24 at today's close. You've got that spot volatility that's still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That always creates a problem for buyers in the market out here. Uh, the 50-day is printed at 1492, price right now at 1657. The Nasdaq did close below for three consecutive sessions. Today would be the fourth one, below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. The NQ continues to suggest to you and I, it wants to make a run to 14865. US dollar index on Friday did form a sell the D point pattern, brand new profile formed as well. The top of that profile is up at the 102.65 level, bottoms 100.78. The area to be watching here is 101.72. A close below that would suggest a move down to 100.78. Goldilocks. Still trading, still finding resistance at the bottom of its daily profile, the center of its weekly profile, but also finding support at the swing point from June 29th, as well as its TD9 count breakout level. So you're trading between some support and resistance here. In the case of silver, it's now likely going to go target 2301. That's a 0 0.786 retracement of its, if its last leg higher. If we take a look at light sweep crew, and if it did generate a bearish reversal candle today, it would confirm another sell the D point pattern. Support though, down at 81.23, that's the top of its daily profile that price closed above. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Z show. You can see natural gas just consolidating in the daily profile. 275 is its price target in the 30 year treasury. Also new profile with a buy the D point last Friday. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show, folks. We'll see you soon.